It's time to get your tickets for Gilda's Laugh Fest and Joanne Rome, the festival's director, is here with a look at what's on tap for the 10th year of Laugh Fest. Yeah. I can't believe it's been 10 years already. Time flies when you're having fun, right? I know, and when you're laughing and having a good time, yeah. which was what we love to do with Laugh Fest. Okay, this, with the dates for this year's uh, Laugh Fest, they're yes. about the same time every year, but they change a little yep. bit. Yep, March 5 through 15, 2020. And we just had our first set of announcements for the festival uh, yesterday. I know, we've got some really, really great acts coming up. Um, what are the ones that you're the most excited about from the ones that you've announced so far? Oh, goodness. Well, Jim Gaffigan, having him back, you know, which we announced previously is a huge one, selling super well. People are really excited to have him back in the West Michigan community. I'm really excited about Adam Kate and Holland. Uh, that's a comic that not everybody would know the name of. He's got a really interesting one-man show mm -hmm. um, that's actually really relates to the work we do at Gilda's Club. It's a one-man show about his sister who died by suicide. And you think about that and you think, oh, that mm. doesn't seem funny. But it's this really poignant, funny, dark, light. I mean, it really embraces the full range of emotions that somebody experiences mm -hmm. when they're dealing with something tough in life. It's gonna be a really unique show and I encourage people to see it. I think that's one of the things that I enjoy the most about Laugh Fest is that in addition to having some of these amazing comedians come in and giving us a really great laugh, which we know is good for our health, right. um, you also really do stick to you know what Gilda's Club does and have performers that come in and touch on the subjects of grief and loss and support that you can give and yeah. so it's really about bringing those two together. They're so closely tied together you know um, I mean you think about comedy and tragedy you know going back to the Greeks I mean really when someone is navigating something tough in their lives whether it's a cancer diagnosis or the death of someone there's a full range of emotions that someone experiences and laughter believe it or not is a part of that so we're not putting a smile pace, face on pain and covering it up we're just embracing the full range of emotions mm -hmm. that we all experience in our lives. Yeah, and you always have some opportunities for kids for for kids too to yeah. be able to have fun. I think the kids joke Joke Off is one of my favorites. Yeah, it's like a hidden gem mm -hmm. of the festival to see those kids get up there. Some of them you have to like wrangle off the stage because they've got a whole <laughs> slew of jokes that they want to tell. Right. And we have some great local talent that work with us to host those shows and are amazing with the kids. It's just a fun opportunity for families. Yeah, and I mean, 150 free and ticketed events. It's a lot to take advantage during that time yeah. of Laugh Fest. 10 days, something for everybody. In fact, we like to kind of challenge people. If you can't find something in this lineup that you like, whether it's a ticketed event, a free event, something maybe in the laughter RX like we talked about that more serious behind the funny, you'd be hard pressed. I mean, we all laugh. That's a common emotion we all experience, but we all laugh at different things. So we try and have something for everybody. Right. And you also try to embrace local comedy and letting people try their own talents at being funny. We sure do. Yeah, we have showcase applications open right now for people that are either seasoned or perhaps want to try for the very first time. We have a first timers uh, showcase that people can take part in. Those applications are available on our website as well as our ticket packages that are on sale now. Great gifts for the holidays. Definitely great gifts for the holidays. Good ideas as well. You still have a few more big names to announce yet though, right? Yeah, we like to keep that <laughs> momentum going, have a few surprises along the way. So while we've announced kind of the preliminary lineup, we'll definitely have a few more uh, acts to announce, including our big signature mm. event we'll be announcing in the coming weeks. That's our big gala that happens in the middle of the festival. So lots of fun to come. Stay All tuned. All right. Yes, I know. You love to tease us just a little bit. <laughs> okay. And of course, you can find more information on Laugh Fest, tickets, packages, great gift ideas for the holidays, all of that on 13onyourside.com.